Good morning. I'm meteorologist Kevin Smith here at the National Weather Service in Pocatello with your Eastern Idaho planning briefing for Tuesday, October 20th. A lot to talk about this morning, so let's get started. Two storm systems are on the horizon here over this week and this coming weekend. Storm number one, Wednesday, will be the key day for that one. Generally low to moderate impacts expected across southeast Idaho. I think the biggest issue here is going to be another round, again, of strong winds Wednesday afternoon and evening for the region. Uh, out of that, some concerns about boating on American Falls Reservoir. Also, blowing dust may again be an issue for some areas, particularly along Interstate 15 north of Idaho Falls near the Osgood area. A few rain and snow showers are expected with this, particularly north and east of the Snake Plain, but I think that'll be kind of a secondary impact, generally nuisance activity expected. And you can see our confidence for this first storm system generally running moderate to high uh, for that system Wednesday into early Thursday morning. Perhaps a bigger issue, storm number two on the way for Saturday, moderate to localized high impacts possible out of this system. And you can see on our gauge here, still low confidence on some of the details as to how this is going to play out, particularly for snowfall amounts and timing. But in general, widespread snow is looking possible, particularly Saturday and Saturday night across the region. Huge drop in temperatures behind a cold front also by Saturday evening. So some po possible flash freeze concerns on the roadways may see some icy conditions and travel impacts. Also a bit breezy with that system coming in for Saturday. Taking a look at the regional satellite view this morning, still have this high pressure center sitting out here over the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And you can easily see this zone, this corridor of moisture and cloud cover that's streaming eastward over the top of this high pressure ridge and then coming down across the Pacific Northwest into Idaho. Really, it's just given us some cloud cover here over the past day or two. A uh, little bit of rain and snow shower activity generally up across Montana to the north of our forecast area. No big impacts out of this so far for our area. And again, what are we waiting for? We're waiting for a stronger, more organized disturbance to ride this flow over the high and come down across our region. And that's exactly what we're looking at with storm number one Wednesday and storm number two coming up for Saturday. Moving ahead to our weather impact overview matrix here, and I'll, I'll flash this map up here again. This is kind of a behind the scenes look on how we divided up our forecast area uh, to create this table of impacts for you. So if you wanna take a look here just for a moment and see which area you are located in. We'll slide back over to the chart. So today, beautiful, seasonable fall weather across southeast Idaho. Little breezy out there, not as bad as the speeds that we've seen over the past couple days. But still, if you're planning some late season recreation on American Falls Reservoir, watch out for a little bit of wave action out there during the day today. Here comes storm number one, <clears throat> lit up for you here on Wednesday. Again, wind is going to be the greatest impact, kind of nuisance rain and snow shower activity for some, but uh, Snake Plain, Eastern Med. Magic Valley over into the eastern highlands here. I've lit up for moderate impacts from that wind. Breezy everywhere else as well. Followed by a cold front by Wednesday night that'll cross the region, leading to cooler conditions here for Thursday and Friday. Well below normal for this time of year. Quiet for most of the region Thursday, Friday. Kind of a break between the two storm systems, but certainly that colder air is priming us for storm number two en route for Saturday. Have the entire region here lit up for moderate impacts from that. Mix of rain and snow snow showers expected here in the Snake Plain, Eastern Magic Valley, into the Southern Highlands, and then snow elsewhere, predominant precipitation type for the event. Again, possibly some flash freeze and icing concerns by Saturday evening as a stronger cold front and greater push of very cold air crosses Southeast Idaho. <clears throat> So taking it day by day here, let's start out with today. Here's those beautiful seasonal temperatures for fall across uh, southeast Idaho for late October. 53 in Driggs today, 50 up in Island Park, 57 in Salmon, uh, closer to 60 down here in the Pocatello and Burley areas, and maybe a few degrees warmer still as you head toward the Utah border. Uh, again, no major impacts expected today aside from a little bit of breeziness out there. Wednesday, here comes storm number one. We do have a new wind advisory that has been issued. Again, this is not for today. This is for Wednesday afternoon and evening with storm number one. You can see us lit up here with that advisory in our normal windy corridor from the Eastern Magic Valley near Shoshone and Burley, right up the Snake Plain, the Arco Desert, the Mud Lake area, and our population centers here from American Falls up through Pocatello, Blackfoot, Idaho Falls, and Rexburg. What do those wind gusts look like? Here's what we're forecasting. So you can see breezy everywhere for South 
southeast Idaho, gusts at least over 25 miles per hour for anywhere you live. And then this normally windier corridor, again, expected from the eastern Magic Valley right up the Snake Plain into the eastern highlands and Teton Valley getting in on the action as well. Wind gusts of 30 to 45 miles per hour expected predominantly out of the west-southwest Wednesday afternoon and evening. So a picture is worth a thousand words. And here's a couple images of some of those impacts that we're concerned about for Wednesday with those stronger winds. Uh, this graphic is available on our Facebook and Twitter pages this morning. Here on the uh, left-hand panel, again, blowing dust is going to be a concern anywhere that we have fields that have already been harvested. You know, our main trouble spot here over the past week or two has been that corridor of Interstate 15 north of Idaho Falls up through Osgood and Roberts. We may again be looking at issues along that stretch with possible closures if we do get that blowing dust and low visibility going again on Wednesday. Over here on the right, if you're on American Falls Reservoir, again, late season boaters and recreators watching for hazardous boating conditions, some rough chop and high waves, particularly for the smaller watercraft that will be most prone to capsizing. High temperatures on Wednesday, still very seasonable for this time of year. You can see those uh, readings generally in the 50s to near 60 degrees across the region. Now, Thursday, Friday, remember, storm number one is done. We've sent that first cold front, that first shot of cooler air across the region, and it shows. Over here on the left, high temperatures for Thursday. On the right panel, high temperatures for Friday, well below normal for this time of year. Not even getting to 40 degrees for places like Island Park, perhaps Driggs, uh, up into portions of the Central Mountains, and then readings only getting into the low to mid 40s at lower elevations, including the Snake Plain. Again, we may see an, uh, a rain or snow shower lingering uh, from storm number one leading into Thursday morning here for portions of the Central Mountains, the Upper Snake Highlands, the Eastern Highlands, generally north and east of the Snake Plain, not expecting a lot of accumulation out of that, and generally that's going to be at the higher elevations. Otherwise, quiet, the calm before storm number two across the region Thursday, Friday. Saturday, so here comes our storm. This is our current high temperature forecast. This might be a little optimistic based on the timing of when we're expecting precipitation to move in. So you can see a lot of our forecast readings here generally just a few degrees above freezing, maybe getting to 40 degrees at lower elevations late Saturday morning here in the Snake Plain and the Southern Valleys. Um, but that's about the best we're going to be able to do on Saturday before temperatures start to cool and that cold front plows into the area. We showed you this graphic yesterday and it remains valid as a big picture of what we're expecting with this system Saturday. Again, low pressure dropping uh, just to the north of our area here into the Idaho Panhandle. Big area of rain and snow expected to break out ahead of it. Uh, possibly late Friday night into the pre-dawn hours Saturday, continuing throughout the day and into Saturday night. Snow is going to be the predominant precipitation type for most areas. Maybe a little bit of rain mixing in during the day for places like Burley over to Pocatello, maybe up to Idaho Falls at the lower elevations. Over here on the right, uh, again, preliminary snowfall amounts we're looking at, a dusting to one or two inches for most lower elevation areas. I think those highest two-inch amounts are really going to be above 6,000 feet. So, for example, these uh, higher terrain areas here to the south and east of Pocatello. And you can see our orange areas here, west of Chalice, and Mackey in the Central Mountains, also up toward Island Park and in the Eastern Highlands. That's where we have the greatest potential to see higher snowfall amounts, possibly on the order of three to nine inches out of this system, again, focused on Saturday. So even for areas where we're seeing relatively little snow, again, a lot of moving parts here that we're going to have to watch in terms of potential travel impacts. The greatest one, again, being those plummeting temperatures behind the cold front by Saturday evening. So if we do have wet roadways, we're really going to have to watch uh, for some possible icy spots developing even down to valley floors in places like Pocatello. Um, also keeping an eye, it's a little early to get too, uh, too cute with this uh, based on the guidance we have available, but it is a scenario that may favor development of what we call a convergent snow band over portions of the Snake Plain. So whether that will be able to produce a little extra snowfall at lower elevations, again, another thing that we're watching. So we encourage everyone to monitor the forecast throughout the week for updates, plan on possible travel impacts across southeast Idaho as we head into the weekend, particularly at higher elevations. Last thing I'll show you here, here's the temperatures we're heading for, and you're, you're reading this correctly. These are low temperatures Saturday night, Sunday morning, teens and single digits 
for the entire region across southeast Idaho behind that cold front. This is exactly why we're worried about icy spots on the roadways. And then over here on the right, high temperatures by Sunday, barely making it to freezing, barely getting to 32 degrees across lower elevations. Places like Island Park and Driggs holding in the 20s for high temperatures behind system number two as you head into Sunday. So, a lot to stay on top of this week. Stay tuned as we continue to modify the forecast and watch these hazards for you. And reach out if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Have a great and safe Tuesday.